Hello friends. Today I will show you the detailed method of flashing the firmware of the Antminer L7 control board. First of all, I will introduce the tools and materials that need to be used in the card flashing process. A card reader. TF card. You can use 4 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes. Network cable, which can be used to read the IP of the control board. Antminer control board. Well, then I will start to demonstrate the card swiping process for you. However, it should be noted that, in the first step, we need to flash the firmware of the S19 control board. First, insert the TF card into the card reader. Then connect it to the computer and format the TF card into FAT32 mode. Then copy and paste the S19 control board firmware to the TF card. Okay, the copy is successful. Take out the TF card. Insert it into the control board and power it on. When you see here that the green indicator light is always on, it means that the S19 firmware has been flashed. Disconnect the power supply, and take out the TF card. In the second step, we will flash the L7 firmware again. Same as the previous steps. First. Insert the TF card into the card reader and format it into FAT32 mode. Then copy and paste the L7 control board firmware to the TF card. Take out the TF card and reinsert it into the control board. Then power it on. When you see that only the green indicator light is always on, it means that the L7 firmware card flashing is complete. Power off, and take out the TF card. Finally, check the IP of the control board. Power on the control board first. And then plug in the network cable. When the red and green indicator lights are off, we open the BTC Tools software and start scanning the IP of the control board. When the control board IP and L7 model are displayed on the software interface, it means that the control board has completed the L7 firmware flashing. Well, this is the card flashing steps of L7 control board firmware. Thank you all.